Eu estou me sentindo muito bem. Eu treinei bem com meus companheiros de treino. Fiz uma dieta para bater o peso. Estou me sentindo bem para essa luta amanhã. Sei que a luta não vai ser fácil, mas eu estou bem preparado e vou dar o meu máximo. Ah, eu acho meu adversário Shaolin um grande atleta, né? Quando ele era faixa preta, eu ainda era faixa azul, então eu sempre admirei muito ele lutando, né? Mas eu tô aqui para dar o meu melhor, né? Espero vencer ele amanhã. I think it was a was a was a really good moment for me able to bring that rivalry back and against an opponent, you know, where I compete so many times before. And it's nice to see him back. It's nice to see you know everything works out during the training camp for both to be able to you know to be you know tomorrow over there competing. So the predictions I, I want to win. You know what I mean? I want to win the best way possible. And then I know in the other side he he want to stop there. He want to beat me. So so he'll be an interesting challenger. Well, it's time for our main event of the evening here at Polaris 4. It's a rematch from 15 years ago. Fernando Terraray Augusto taking on Vitor Shaolin Hibero. Ladies and gentlemen of Polaris, the entire jiu-jitsu world is waiting 15 years to see this fight. Your first fighter fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, via New York City. He is a CBJJ Pan American Champion, a CBJJ Multiple World Champion, a veteran of Dream and Strike Force, weighing in at 80 kilos and representing Team Nova Uno, Victor Shaolin Hibero. And his opponent, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is a multiple Brazilian national champion, a multiple Copa do Mundo champion, a multiple world champion, weighing in at 81 kilos and representing Team Terere. Ladies and gentlemen, Fernando Terere Augusto da Silva. This match is sponsored by Rollmore. And it is a much anticipated rematch. Fernando Terrare in the blue gi, taking on Vitor Shaolin Hiberio in the white gi. And a lot of people wondering, guys, what is Terrare gonna be like coming back to competition of this level, you know, after a bit of time off and slowly getting back into the game? Especially in the uh previews he was talking so much about how focused he is on teaching at the moment that can really take away from your own preparation you guys last met in 2001 Shaolin taking that 2-0 on points in the, the world championships back then now we know a lot of newer viewers to Jiu Jitsu may not quite know who Terare is let me just say he was world champ at every belt level black belt in uh, 2000 at age 20, won every single big title there was to win, and was always known as one of the most charismatic and explosive fighters. Well, tries the Sanagi off the collar grips. Fernando brings real joy to his fans whenever he competes. You, hear them, you heard them do their chant as soon as his name was announced. Yeah, it's got to be great to hear that live in a jiu-jitsu setting. Again, breaking the grip from Shaolin, of course, Terare, much loved by the jiu-jitsu community, taking some time off for some addiction and some other mental health issues. A good six years away from jiu-jitsu, but with the support of the jiu-jitsu community has really re-emerged to start moving to the forefront again. But obviously, Shaolin is a, a tough, tough cat to do that uh, to. Do that too. Four times world champion. 
most recently uh, Masters World Championship this year. We saw him last time at uh, Polaris 2. Actually had a long match against uh, Nakamura Daisuke. Got the submission very late on in that one. And a 20-5 and five pro MMA record for Shaolin with notable wins over Kawajiri and Joachim Hansen. Yeah, I mean, he's got 12 subs, I think, in, in MMA. You know, a decade competing in high-level mixed martial arts alongside the Jiu-Jitsu, so... Going to retain his guard here as Terre looks to aggressively pass on top. Yeah, Terre was very known for this, like, dynamic guard starting, passing style. You know, using a lot of, like, long stepping, toriandos, things like that. And um, you can see it a lot in the modern Jiu-Jitsu guys, but, you know, Terre was one of the pioneers of this kind of passing. You know, he said he, he prefers to fight on top because he's a little bit claustrophobic. So he'd rather not spend time on the bottom if he doesn't have to. That's good motivation. It's very nice. He's just picking the leg, putting Shaolin flat on his back so it's harder for him to retain his guard. Yeah, he's got a good grip on the pant leg there. Foot stuck in the lapel briefly, but Terre almost moving to side control here. Shaolin's doing everything he can to turn in and turtle. He's going to have a single if he can get his grip of his hands together. And a good early exchange there. Yeah, some excellent passing from Terre and a nice recovery from Shaolin as well. Not to try and impress upon our newer viewers. The, uh, the majesty of Terror Ray back in the day. You, you can really count on one hand the number of guys who've submitted Marcelo Garcia at Black Belt. And Terror Ray is one of just five people. He's also the only person to actually do it in Marcelo's weight class. So that should really tell you something. Quite the credential. Tactical grip fighting here. Shaolin goes searching, but a fair ways off on that pant grip. Our referee, Oli Geddes, for this one, stalking in the background. Good throw, not able to maintain position, though. Steps inside for a trip. Terre is certainly the aggressor so far in this match. Yeah, it's nice to see him chain a couple of those uh, attempts together. You know, any, any single technique you've got to figure is going to get stopped fairly quickly, but put a few together, it's going to make it all that more difficult. Both these guys very close in age. 35 years old, Terra Ray, 37 years old, Shaolin. Shaolin pulls guard here. Well, Terra is already going to that knee slide position that he had before, had good success with that. Trying to stay heavy on this lead leg. Shaolin looking to feed the lapel, it looks like. Certainly trying to get his right hand inside on some grip. Nice knee slide from Terre. I was just going to say, popped up, freed the knee very easily, regarded by Shaolin here. You know, he's got this deep grip around the neck, the deep cross face here, and he's trying to turn his hips. Very strong passing position. Very nice long step. Twitches his grip to control the pant. And that is a decisive pass from Terra Ray. A very nice passing sequence. I think he's on to the knee. Doubts or questions people might have had as to which Terre would turn up today. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there were there were a lot of people asking some very legitimate questions over, you know, who are we going to see? Are we going to see Terre of old? Are we going to see a, a slightly slower Terre? You know, what's what's going to happen? And you know, the, the passing may not be as dynamic as it, it was, but it's aggressive, it's methodical, it's technical, and uh, you know, he's he's managed to do something that's pretty hard, which is you know, pass Allen's guard and secure his eye control. I do like that very deep grip around the back of the neck he's maintaining. 
Yeah, and he's playing this bottom leg very, very well. You know, this is a, a lot of work that Shaolin's doing just to try to recover his guard right now. Sutere inching that left hand deeper and deeper and deeper. He's doing such a good job of keeping the shoulders flatter. Yeah, this is really the difference between this pass and the one they had before. He's managed to keep Shaolin just flat, stop him turning into him. Again, that control with the pant leg, really decisive. Tries to switch to the other side, but a little bit loose. It's going to take uh, probably some momentum and some confidence from that passing sequence, though, I would have thought. Shaolin's going to have to up his game here, I think. I mean, we're only halfway through this match. Seven and a half minutes still to go here. Forehead to forehead here. Shaolin getting his head very forward of his hips. Yeah, he did a great job of stopping Terrore, controlling his gi pant grip, uh, his legs. It's obviously what Terrore is looking for and then passing from side to side. Yeah, Shaolin's got to bring his posture that far forward to try and keep some sort of frame and strong spinal alignment in. Terrore still residing in Rio de Janeiro for Shaolin with his gym in Midtown Manhattan. Certainly the New Yorkers on tonight's card, very, very well represented. It has been an outstanding evening of jiu-jitsu here. And this is our final match of the evening. Fight number eight on the main card. Josh Palmer, Tom Barlow, Nick Osipchek bringing you all of tonight's action. What a cracking night of fights we've had. And some very cagey, I was going to say grip fighting, but really just uh, you know, attritional pushing and pulling. Yeah, they're looking to get that dominant grip. Shallon's opted to go to close guard. This is, could be a good strategy. Terry is known for moving uh, quickly from side to side for passing. So this will definitely slow him down. Shallon's got some very, a very strong guard. It looks like here he's trying to drag that arm across. Terra just closed the space down. Shaolin actually uh, getting some time in as a UFC referee uh, as well. Uh, made his debut doing that in 2015. We, of course, have, uh, probably for my money, one of the best UFC referees in the world here. Matt side tonight, Mark Goddard is one of our three judges, along with David Anuma, and UFC pundit, former title contender Dan Hardy. They're making the determinations this evening. Should the matches go the distance? Shaolin's trying very, very hard to break that collar grip of Terror Ray, and it's not shifting anywhere. Yeah, really driving that fist into the solar plexus. It's not going to let his push to get broken whatsoever. And I wonder at what point the referee wants, might start saying he wants to see a bit more action here, perhaps. I appreciate that it's KG. And it's a, any, any you know, small millimetre is going to possibly tell the difference here. I'd like to know what Shaolin's thinking at this point. What is his strategy? How does he see his route to victory? Looking to drag that arm across. Had sleeve and elbow grip for a moment. Switches his attention to the other side. Is Terra going to try and open the guard here? Just under four minutes left. And the referee... He's moving them back to the middle. I think he's going to let them restart from closed guard here, though. 
would always like to see a stand-up force perhaps in a, an instance like that reset. The crowd starting to pick up here, trying to do the action on. Terre stands here, looking to drive that knee in the middle. Underhooked by Shaolin. Yeah, Shaolin's doing a very good job of making it hard for Terre to stand and stop you know, opening his guard. Oh, and here we go. Our referee, Oli Geddes, deciding they need to bring it back to the feet. And calling a time stoppage for them to redress their belts. Two minutes, 45 seconds left. We're going from standing again. Shaolin immediately pulling half guard. And Terry looking to up the pace with his passing. He's got a very deep collar grip. Yeah. Drops Leonaghi and he plants Shaolin on his back off the mat. Showing he's still got the magic. That was beautiful. It's just a shame he couldn't transition straight into something else. Yeah, Shaolin shook his head. He said, I can't believe I let that happen to me. Look forward to seeing that in a replay. He's trying to climb high for a triangle. Shaolin looks like he's increasing the pace a little bit, trying to push the action. Yeah, which is interesting, because that, that seemed to be what Terre was doing a moment ago. He, strong passing sequence, kept a very dominant grip. An excellent takedown. So Shaolin inverted here. Sleeve and pant grip. He's attacking the loop choke, this looks tight. No. Well, Shaolin has been victorious in uh, both previous encounters with Terra Ray. But right now you have to wonder if it's going to happen a third time, minute 15 left here. Terry taking a few deep breaths there, looking slightly more tired of the two competitors here. Oh, nice drag on the lapel to hunt for the single leg. Not able to secure it, pulls guard again. And hasn't really been able to get a whole lot going from his guard yet. Well, Terry has been able to control, control the distance, can you know, maintain his posture, making it very, very hard for Shaolin. See Shaolin's really working hard to get something going. Yeah, there is a great sense of urgency on the face of Shaolin there and a fantastically quick reset. He's really trying to get his guard working. Terry capitalizing and looking to pass. Nice recovery and attack again from Shaolin. Oh, good loop choke. Submission attempts are all going to count. You have to say, as far as submission attempts go, those are the only ones of the match. But it's all been passing and positional control. Terre securing top position again, last 10 seconds. And time is gonna run out here in our main event of Polaris 4. Terre and Shaolin go the distance. Terre's corner think he's done enough. It's gonna come down to the judges. Yeah, so some very nice attacks from, from both players, really. Uh, Terere trying to get that, that Sienagi attack and, and linking takedowns together. But really, this is um, a, a passer versus guard player. Terere did a great job of knee sliding through several times, just unable to secure anything too dominant. Shaolin was working his guard, you know, trying to set up the loop chokes, having the most probably close to finishing attacks of the fight. Oli Geddes here is going to announce the judges' decision as it went the full 15 minutes, and then Josh will go and speak Ladies to the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, by unanimous decision, Fernando Pereira
I'm here with our runner-up, Shaolin Vitor. It's 15 years since you last fought. Tell us how you're feeling right now. You know, feeling a little, a little upset. I think he, you know, he applied his game really well. Even me knowing he'll be doing this, he did a really good job. Not too much to say, you know. This might be hard to recall, but what's different about the match now as it's taking place 15 years on? What's changed from last time? Hmm. I don't know. I think he, he changed. I change. You know, I, I try to always think I'm the same guy like uh, 15 years ago, but definitely we have to assume our body changed, but I don't feel this is nothing, nothing with the fight today. You know what I mean? I think he, he got his changes, I got my changes, and then he did a good job today. That's it. It's been a pleasure having you back on Polaris. It, do you want to come back and, and compete for us again? Yeah, of course. Of course. Hope for next year. It's been a pleasure watching you fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Vito Shaolin Hibero! Well, I'm here with our main event winner, winner Terre. Terre, tell us how you're feeling coming back to competition and winning here. Estou me sentindo bem. Graças a Terre Kids Project, tá me incentivando muito a voltar a treinar, a voltar sair das ruas, né, e seguir o destino no esporte novamente. I was saying, uh, I'm feeling really good. Uh, the Terere Kids project is really uh, in, uh, helping me get back on the mats and uh, getting uh, back to winning is great, yeah. What does it mean to you to, to get a win over an opponent like Shaolin on a show like Polaris? Ah, I've been engaged with him for a long time. He's already won many times. But today I've determined to win. Consegui ultrapassar o limite dele. I've been gutted about it for a long time because uh, uh, we had a rivalry back in the days, but uh, yeah, it's such a relief having here now to win. And, uh, yeah. Was it good to hear the crowd chant again? Foi bom ouvir o povo cantando de novo. Eu tenho. Eu tenho um carinho muito grande com a Inglaterra que é um país que me acolheu depois que eu tive problema nos Estados Unidos. Eu nunca mais pude entrar lá. Então, os únicos países que eu viajo é a Europa. Eu morei um tempo aqui na Inglaterra e eu tenho uma afinidade muito grande com todos, porque todos aqui da Inglaterra são boas pessoas. I have a lot of affection for this country, uh, uh, the UK. They, uh, when I had problems in the US, I couldn't uh, go back there, so uh, the UK kind of uh, opened the doors for me here. Always been great being here. Everyone here has a, a, such a good energy, good, uh, good vibe. So yeah, uh, uh, very nice play, very nice. Yeah. One more question. Are we going to see you compete again? Vocês vão te ver competindo de novo. Estou treinando, vou continuar o treino, o foco, para estar lutando o próximo europeu. I'm going to train, I'm going to keep the focus and uh, do, uh, take part in the next Europeans. Excellent. Well, congratulations on you. I write to Kent, Pedro Bessa, Manchinha, Elan Santiago, my coach, Gustavo Galvão, Alexandre Paiva, a meus alunos do projeto, a minha namorada, meu pai, minha mãe, meus irmãos. Os. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event winner, Fernando Augusto Terrell.